Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. In this video, I will give you more information about the top 5 best electric trailer brake controllers that are available on the market. Actually I try to make popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinion and more. If you need more information about this products please check the link description section below. Don't forget subscribe this channel for view future videos. Let's start this videos. Starting at number 5, we have Takansha P3 model 90195. The Takansha P3 is about as close as an aftermarket brake controller can be to looking like a factory installed piece of OEM equipment. A large, easy to read LED readout screen shows battery, brake and output voltages as well as system current. It can also flash a warning if there's a failure somewhere in the system. Brightness, contrast and even language, English, Spanish, and French, are configurable. Braking is adjusted via two very big buttons, easy for a driver to use while at the wheel. The P3 can control up to four axles, and there's a boost feature to modulate braking power. Unfortunately, it doesn't come cheap. Moving on at number 4, we have Takansha Primus IQ model 90160. The Takansha Prius IQ provides lots of functionality at an approachable price. This unit can control up to three axles and has a boost setting. There's a useful, if not comprehensive, LED readout. Among traditional aftermarket trailer brake controllers it's also one of the easiest to install, literally snapping into place, there's also a detachable electric connector. The Primus also self-diagnoses on a regular basis and broadcasts any errors to the LED screen. However, for a product that promises ease of installation, not everything you need is included the box. Vehicle-specific wiring harnesses cost extra and come separately from Takancha. At number 3, we have Kurt Echo Electric Trailer Brake Controller. Modern problems require modern solutions and if you're looking for a state-of-the-art trailer brake controller, check out Kurt's Echo. What helps this proportional trailer brake controller stand out from the competition is its non-invasive and straightforward install process, which requires simply plugging it in, inline, into any seven-way connector. From there, it can wirelessly link to your smartphone using Bluetooth. This also means it's easily transferable from one vehicle to another, which may come in handy for some vehicle owners. It also means you can remove it for security. Neither tools nor additional wiring are required for install, and it comes with a locking tab and strap to keep it firmly connected. At number 2, we have Kurt Venturer Electric Trailer Brake Controller. Designed to offer safe and dependable operation as Kurt's Venturer Electric Trailer Brake Controller. This is an easy-to-use brake controller with a nice, visible LED display that allows you to monitor brake operation. This brake controller has no internal moving parts, so no leveling is required. Features on this powerful brake controller include a manual brake slider button, an adjustable power toggle, and adjustable ramp time. According to Kurt, you can use its electric trailer brake controller on virtually any trailer with 1 to 3 axles, 2 to 6 brakes. This unit is fully compatible with cruise control, anti-lock brakes, low voltage systems, and PWM systems. Install is much easier if you purchase a Kurt vehicle-specific quick plug harness, which is sold separately. And finally at number 1. Hopkins Insight Plug-in Simple. Brake Control. Hopkins packs a lot of features, and an exclamation point, into the Insight Plug-in Simple. Trailer Brake Controller. It's a three-piece product consisting of the controller itself, a tiny LED screen for displaying current voltage and warning the driver of any system problems, and a unique seven-position slider for adjusting the intensity of the brake application. It's the only brake controller on our list capable of operating four axles or eight brakes. Actual mounting of the parts is easy, thanks to a comprehensive install kit, but each of the three components needs to be wired together, making it more work than other controllers. The actual controller module is sensitive to mounting position, limiting flexibility a little. It works with hydraulic or electric brakes, and has short circuit protection. 